scenes of last year to the scenes of this year. Bart's bringing you Glen Bard football. Welcome everyone, Scott Wager, Dave Newman with you as we bring you all of the action of a very unique contest, unique in the standpoint that in the history of both of the schools you'll see today, neither one has faced the other in football competition ever. This is the first of a two-year contract, a home-and-home -home series for Glenbard West and Glenbard South, kind of our Glen Ellen version of the uh, blue and gray going on here today. And uh, it should be an interesting contest. It should be quite, uh, quite a lot of good-spirited competition from the standpoint that both of these schools are very big rivals, cross town and all that. And a lot of these kids have played together in junior youth football uh, in the city of Glen Ellen. As you can see, the toss was won by Glen Bard West. They'll receive to start the contest. The ball is in the air and back for Glen Bard West. The ball is taken down by Tom Zorowski and he's stacked up at the 31 yard line and Glen Bard West moves to the O and on the tackle number 74 for Glen Bard South. And just one of those big, bulky people they got up there, Eric Mayer, a 6'3", 245-pounder. Glenbard South has some size. We'll talk about that as the game progresses. Again, we see motion coming near side this time out of Kevin King. Pitch back to Streitberger one more time. Going to the well again with Streitberger. He gets it to the 39-yard line where he's brought down by Gone, the middle linebacker, one of the inside backers. And we'll also give it to uh, Andy Humble and number 77, who is another one of those big houses in there, Larry Weatherspoon, 6'3", 270 pounds. First time ever these two ball clubs have ever faced one another. King in motion, top of the screen. Pulls it up, turns it back. Car looks, now it's a keeper on the quarterback and he's gonna be stacked behind the line of scrimmage. As Gone gets in on him, Chris Sutter gets in on him. And those two leading the tackle as they bury Carr at the 49 of Glenbard West. Loss of one on the play. Well, as we mentioned, a lot of big guys up front. They have their entire starting defensive line returning. They've got three of the four linebackers returning. Glenbard South returned 15 starters from last year, eight of those on the O and seven on B. That's a good way to start a year for a freshman coach. Stefani in the slot, Streitberger back there. Stefani in motion. Car a little mix up on the handoff as he ran into one of the pulling guards coming through there. And uh, Glenbard South stacks it up again at the 50 and they gave back the yard they lost. That'll bring up third down and 10 at the 50 yard line. Split the backs. Streitberger near side. Motion is king. Car rolls and he's gonna be Oh, no, he gets out of the grasp of Andy Hubble, brings it around the near side, up the sideline, and finally knocked out of bounds by number 40, Chris Gaughan, who came from his linebacker spot to crack Jay Carr out of bounds after he got inside the 20 at the 17-yard line. First and gain of one, call it second and 11. Deep, deep, deep in Glenbard South Territory. The minute 44 on the clock, first quarter. No score in our contest. Glenbard South, these just stopped Glenbard West at the goal line. Spin, handoff to Gone. Interesting situation, too, last year, Dave. We were kind of commenting, could Dave Gone only played on the defensive side uh, until late in the season? And uh, I think both you and I felt as we were watching it last year in those games where we saw him late in the season playing at the at the running back spot that they really could have done themselves some justice last year if they had put him back there. Costo with the ball and gets it out to the uh, four-yard line where he's knocked down by Bischoff, Paul Bischoff with the tackle for Glenbard West. He got the roll. Yeah, he did a good job under that pressure. That ends our first quarter. No score in this crosstown rivalry. The first time ever that Glenbard West and Glenbard South have ever met on the football field. And in the opening game for today, it was the sophomores of Glenbard West defeating the Raiders of South. Final score in that one was 20 to 6. So the sophomores have bragging rights around town. We still have three quarters to find out who's going to have them for the varsity players. And we'll be back with more right after this on Group W Sports. So Carr on two successive uh, sneak plays type thing or keepers. Uh, Mayor Humble and Matt Holt on the defensive front three for South. There's the pitch out now to Zorowski. Zorowski slips a tackle on the near side and he gets out, lunges near the 30-yard line. 
probably just a situation there with the transition like that, Dave, where player gets caught up on the sideline. I don't know what happened to Gone. They have Yamamoto wide to the right. They have I guess we can say Chris is. Dave Young. That's right, Chris is gone. And now they have Paul Bienek out to the near side. I formation. Costo the deep man. There's a fix hand up to Costo now. Dropping back in the pass deflected. Chris Sutter dropped back to throw, but somebody got their hand on the ball. That's the second time this happened to him this year. And you're not going to catch him that way. So it's third down and 10. Ball still at the 26 yard line of Glenbard South. Seven zips our score. Glenbard West on top by a tee. Raiders break the huddle. Tim Costo now comes. Wide to the near side, Yamamoto off to the right. Chris gone back in the ball game at fullback. Sutter drops straight back to throw. He's got pressure by Ed Faulkner. There's a throw to Chris gone at the 26. Now he's running across the field to the right. Gets a block. He's out of the 40, 45, 50. He's got one man to beat. That's King. He bumps into King at the 40 yard line and he falls down, lunging forward out to the Glenbard West 40, 35 yard line. Chris gone took the ball and just kept running. Kevin King back there picking up on the uh, on the D-back spot, and I thought that Gaughan had it all the way by himself, but King made a great move getting over there and cutting the angle on him and nailing him. But a nice pickup for Glenbard South, and Gaughan running off that screen, kicked it back around far side and broke the corner and got it upfield. And that marked his third down across the field. That's wrong, it's second down. And then, oh, I guess it's third down. They're in three. Down in three, they call it. Ball at the 28. Yamamoto's in the slot. And off to Chris Cohen, off right tackle. Bangs forward down near the 25 yard line, but he, he will be just short of the first down. They'll measure. All right, the Raiders break their huddle. They will take it first down and goal at the four yard line. Tim Costo split to the left, Yamamoto in the slot. Gone and Humble in the backfield in the I formation. Sutter drops back, hands out to Chris Gone, cuts at the middle, dives over the line, and it's going to be close. It looks like a fumble as. No, no, no. Ground caused the fumble. It was a fumble. Ground caused the fumble, so South will keep the ball. It looked like he got down near the one yard line. What happened is Gone lunged over the. Uh, over toward the goal line, and as he hit the ground, the ball popped out, and the ground cannot cause right. the fumble. The ball is immediately dead when that happens. So he moved it three yards closer there at the one yard line. Second down, goal. Yamamoto off to the right, Costo split out to the left side, humble and gone in the backfield. Sutter calls the signals. And gone. off to Chris Gone, diving over the middle, and it looks like he's stopped at the one yard line. J.T. Lloyd met him in midair as he dived across the line of scrimmage. Stenman stopped it up, Stenman. And Rob Stenman in on the play, the middle linebacker. So it is third and goal from the one. It's a big play right here for Glenbard South. The Hilltoppers of West stack up the line of scrimmage. They move their linebackers in tight. Costo and Yamamoto, the receivers left to right. Now, touchdown, Sutter on the Sutter. keeper, lunges over the line, off left tackle, a touchdown for Glenbard South, their first score of the year, a one-yard keeper for Chris Sutter. Time we got a good one going, Dave. Maybe try the thing again. So we see Stefani coming out near side. And if King out to the left, Jeff White is your tight end. With one second remaining, Carr will drop back to throw. There's a screen pass to the right, to the left side to Streitberger on his feet. He's across the 45 and he has wrestled down, brought down by Chris Gaughan at the 44. But so that's it. The game is six on the play. I don't quite understand that. I would have put the people down the field a little bit more. Uh, just that little safety flare out there doesn't make a lot of sense to call a timeout about. So what we're going to do is break it here, take our timeout at halftime, gather it all up, and then we'll be back with the second half of action. As you can see, it is Glenbard West on top of Glenbard South. The first meeting between these two, the Hilltoppers and the Raiders going at it on this Saturday afternoon. Seven to six is our score. I'm Scott Wager. Dave Newman and I will be back with second half action in just a moment.